I, I talk to customer support leaders a lot who say, hey, you know, the KPIs they're really measured on are things like response time and issue resolution. You know, how could a support leader expect those metrics to improve, say, comparing between just traditional human provided support and maybe what chatbots have looked like in the past versus how, the, how these KPIs might look with these new generative power solutions that are that are starting to be available now. And, and I'm thinking, EJ, that you, you probably have uh, data at your fingertips to make the comparison. Always. Um, I, I think the way I think about this is, I think the KPI isn't necessarily where um, in the short term will, will change quite a bit. I think in the short term, what you can leverage is the ability to be able to understand where you can optimize um, at scale. What I mean by that is today, two things happen. Uh, as a CX leader, I either have very um, coarse type of categorization. And then once I kind of see these KPI and I actually don't know what to do with them because the categorizations are too coarse. Um, or I create a lot of different categories. And as part of my QA process, I tag maybe 70 different categorizations so I know how to action on that. On the front, I think you basically get your agent to have kind of mental carpal tunnel categorizing things and reviewing 20,000 ticket is just not easy uh, in the past. Today, I think with generative AI, um, we, we can help our customer easily uh, fine tune, not just kind of like how you said, not just the head of the problem, but also the tail use cases. Where are you not having great CSAT, where you are not able to have great deflection, self-service rate, or basically customer resolution. You can get to that granularity at scale. And so I think that's where generative AI can come in handy. Um, so that's one. I think in the future, it's similar to the early states of uh, ad tech, if you will. Early days, everybody has great CTR, but you don't know your return on ad spend, right? And until Google and the Facebook of the world got that to a place that you can actually understand your ROI and efficacy, um, I think that's super important as a next generation of conversational AI, generative AI, we as an industry need to get to that level of true solve rate, true measure. So as a whole, we're talking comparing Apple to Apple. Um, so that's what I'm hoping for, but also sharing with you what is possible today and focusing on that ability to, to, to fine tune and optimize your customer support experience based on that tail of, of ability to understand what your customers are experiencing. And that's the same love language you can use with your product team if you're having a hard time convincing them, go solve these problems. Um, you know, generative AI, um, and, and you know, at Forthought, we, we also try to help customer with seeing that type of uh, issue resolution at that granularity. Um, yeah, so I think there's some very tactical solution as well, my hope for the industry as a whole in the future.